Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies, and today coming to you with some sad news. Zayn Malik, a member of uh, the band One Direction, uh, has left. Well, I guess he's not a member of the band One Direction. Um, they're a foursome now. And uh, as Zuleya in our office, huge One Direction fan, massive directioner, uh, said, uh, you know, she's disappointed because he's the only one who could really properly sing. Um, the others have their own talents and they're great at lots of stuff, but Zane was the, uh, the vocal chops of the band. By the way, we're, we're taking on Stoke City. Um, uh, Stoke, a great name for a town. These British people, they just know how to name their places. We're seventh in the uh, Premier League. Eight points out of first place, Chelsea. Uh, we've been struggling a little bit, no two ways about it. I want to talk to you about that in a future video, uh, what our ambition should and should not be, uh, what we should expect um, from the boys this year. But, uh, but for now, let's talk about Zane. Um, let's talk about Zane specifically in the context of, uh, of a man I love, uh, Steven Gerrard. So I, uh, I've got to tell you something. You may know that, you may remember this. I made a previous Wimbly Wombly's video about my uh, sort of ignorance uh, in, the, in the field of One Direction. But um, I know essentially nothing about One Direction. Meredith, estimate how many uh, One Direction songs I've heard. It's none. Yeah, it's none. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe I've heard a chorus here or there. But like, and this is not like, a lot of times people brag about how little they know about popular music because it makes them seem like sophisticated and cool and smart and everything. I want to be clear that I'm not bragging. I'm embarrassed never to have heard a One Direction song. I, I feel that it's an example of me being like disconnected from uh, contemporary culture in ways that are probably not good for me or for my work. Um, I just... Um, I just don't really listen to the radio. I don't even really know how to listen. I don't even, wouldn't even know how to find a One Direction song. Spotify, maybe? So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm just... I, I, anyway, point being, I am not, like, proud of the fact that I've never heard a One Direction song. Not least because many of the people I know and love love One Direction and think that their music is fantastic. But, but of course, like, the, the fandom is about much more than the music. And I think this is something that, like, people, uh, old people particularly fail to understand because we're sitting here thinking you know like uh before one direction there was uh you know boys to men and in sync and and oh god stoke city why are you so powerful and talented um you know there was uh the backstreet boys you guys don't remember any of those bands probably because you know they're old and uh now the backstreet boys are like they're like in their 70s they're like, uh, they're not, they're the, the, back, the backstreet elderly boys. They're on social security now. Um, oh, oh, devastating. Um, but uh, so, so I think from our perspective, from the old person perspective, it's like, oh, oh, the boy band broke up. Oh, that always happens. The boy band always breaks up eventually. And then one of them, Justin Timberlake's, and the rest of them, frankly, don't. Um, and maybe Zane will be the maybe Zane will be the Timberlake of the band. I personally think it will be Harry Styles. Oh, that was almost the goal of the century. Um, anyway, uh, so if you look at it from that perspective, you can be like, oh, you know, God, it's just a band breaking up. But here's the thing: it's not actually um, about the band. It's about your relationship with the band. And you can't judge other people's relationship with the band because you can't understand it. Like, uh, you don't, you, you, you just, if you don't get it, you don't get it. That's, it's, it's really that simple. Um, it's like the way that I feel when the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies win the FA Cup. And I find myself in actual tears, even though I understand that this screen is made out of pixels and that these people are not actual people, that bald John Green and... and and other John Green, except insofar as we believe in them, are, are, not, uh, are not human as, as such. Um, that's a great, great job getting the ball out of bounds, rocker. You make me want to rock all night long. Um, so it's not about, right, it's about your investment. And then more importantly even than, than, uh, than your investment in the, in the people and in the band and in the music is your investment with other people in those things. Um, 
you know i mean it's it, you make friends through the through this shared unironic passion and you're making great kinds of friends because you can love stuff together i'm a big fan of friendships where you can love stuff together instead of the friendships where you just like hate everything together which i find much less interesting um like i i think it's awesome that people can be fans of something and like fans of something together and have that stuff bring them together oh god that had to be a goal but it wasn't bring them together in ways that are really like you know wonderful and lasting and sustaining and long after one direction isn't a band anymore those relationships off the post will still be real you know those friendships will will still be real and will still have been formative in people's lives and in many cases like will will continue i think I've seen that in Nerdfighteria. I've also seen it in uh, Liverpool Football Club. I'm hugely invested in the relationships uh, that were, have been given to me by my Liverpool fandom. And I understand that uh, ultimately Liverpool Football Club is just about a certain uh, group of 11 adults uh, trying to kick a sphere into a net. Uh, and, and prevent another group of 11 adults from doing the same and that like there couldn't be anything less meaningless. I mean, music is far more meaningful than that. Um, but my investment in it is real. The friendships that I've gotten out of it are real. And the community that's built out of it is real. And look, the, the, it's so funny to me that like we, when we talk about AFC Wimbledon, you know, we talk about this team that, that had its club take, we talk about this community that had its club taken away from it. These fans then devoted their lives to to rebuilding that, you know, to to finding to, to together building building a club after it was unjustly taken from them, and um, and we don't see those people as weirdos. We see them as heroes, right? I mean, they 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 went on this great heroic journey up from the ninth tier of English football all the way back into the football league, and now uh, in the Premier League on the you know on the cusp of of European glory like that's uh, that's a heroic story right but it's essentially the exact same story as the grief that um, in many ways the same story that the, as the grief that One Direction fans are feeling right now and like we go and make fun of them it's completely I, I think it's completely ridiculous because look AFC Wimbledon fans uh, are, are, are in the same boat like they care about something that doesn't technically matter right like it's just it's just guys on a football field. Um, you know, it's not, it's not something where, like, anything really real is at stake. But it, it is something where, where, where the really real is at stake because what's really real is the connections that were built by that team. Oh, my gosh, it's Stone Cold Steve with the C Austin. Meredith, nice to see him. Been concerned about him. He's all the way up in the Premier League from Swindon Town. Um, so I think, like, you've got to... Uh, yeah, I mean, you got to remember, like, whatever it is that you love um, that other people might think is silly, whether it's, it's football or, or music or books or, or whatever it is. Like, uh, it's made real by virtue, of, by virtue of your love, and it's made meaningful by virtue of your love. And I, 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 I believe that, that the Wimbly Wombly's are real because we believe in them. Um, and I, I absolutely think that One Direction is, is real and important and a big deal and justifiably so to the people um, who've invested in their music and who've built relationships with each other around that music um, and around the stories of the, the members of the band and, and what they do and who they are and they feel like you know they've gotten a lot or they, I don't think they don't feel this way it's true like they've gotten a lot out of it like it's really been it's changed them it's changed the way that they think about being a person it's changed the way they connect to other people like that's a big deal. It's something to celebrate. And like, and that also means that it's going to be a very sad day. I don't want to take a Monkwa Monkwa out. Uh, that was a mistake. I, as good as Dicko is, I'm not sure that he's a goalkeeper. Um, I don't know. And it just makes me sad to see people making fun of... Uh, I mean, it's another thing where people make fun of teen girl culture just because it's, it's teen girl culture. Like, that's how it feels to me. Like, they'll make fun of... They just... Yeah. I feel like people are exceptionally hard on, uh, and unfairly so, on, on teen girls. Um, truth is, like, you know, teen girls are awesome and get a, they get a tough rap because of sexism and also because they're young. So it's a double, 
it's a double whammy. No one takes you seriously when you're a woman and no one takes you seriously when you're a teenager. So I just want to say I, uh, I think it sucks. I mean, I, I hope that Zane is happy. I hope that Zane made the right decision for himself. Um, I don't think it would be easy to be a member of One Direction and have that much, uh, oh, we're making three substitutions all at once, just like the pros do, have that much attention on you all the time, and uh, particularly if you're not a, not a person who can really relish that. Um, so I certainly, oh, dicko. I certainly empathize. Um, but I also, uh, I also empathize with all the sadness that, um, that people feel that they're, you know, this band that they love is, like, deeply changed and, I, it may be irrevocably so, I don't know. Or maybe they'll go on and they'll have a great, they'll be a great, um, I wanted to say foursome, Meredith, but that, that feels inappropriate. Um, although I have read some of the fan fiction, it's not that inappropriate according to, according to what I've been reading. Um, it's totally plausible. But I think, like, to me, like, what's interesting about a, a community ultimately, like, Liverpool itself is not what's interesting about li like like the club itself is not what's so compelling about the club. Oh, that was too long. That was too long. What's interesting about the club to me is the community and the people, and that's why I'm so st sad that Steven Gerrard is leaving the leaving the team. Like he's uh, he's been a part of Liverpool, you know, since I was 11 years old, and um, and it's you know that's uh, that's that's tough. Like that's. You know, because that is what matters to me about the club. But there are other things that matter to me, too. Um, the people, the friendships, the relationships, the kind of, like, Liverpool fan art. Uh, you know, like, the gifs created by the people I, I follow on Twitter and Tumblr. And, like, oh, no! Amonkwa, Amonkwa. You know, the cool thing, the thing that I would say is that that isn't going away. Um, right? Like the community doesn't go away just because the nature of the stuff that you love changes. And like, that's the cool thing to me about fandoms is that they don't end, at least not in the way that, um, uh, you know, a band might end or a, uh, yeah, the fandom, the fandom like changes and grows. And I always look to the Harry Potter fandom for that because, you know, even after the books and the movies, the Harry Potter fandom is still going strong. The Wimbly Wombly's, on the other hand, played terribly. Uh, nil, nil, draw. This is very depressing. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess it's an appropriate result uh, given that Zane has left One Direction. The boys might have been affected by it as well. Not, not, an easy thing to, not an easy thing to have to think about when you go out onto the field to play. But, um, yeah, so all of my uh, love to Directioners, those of you who are making fun of directioners, come on, man. Find something to unenthusiastically love. All right, best wishes. I mean, enthusiastically and unironically love. Sorry. Now I'm going to say best wishes. Best wishes.